Tell us about the fact that you've applied for a police chief's job in Cincinnati where you just came from a year ago. Uh, it's a dream job for me. I spent uh, 37 years there, started as a police cadet um, and progressed my way through the ranks. Uh, it's an opportunity to do uh, something that I've always wanted to do and I'm very conflicted about it. I love West Palm Beach. Uh, the mayor, the commissioners, the city administrators have been nothing but good to me and it was a very difficult decision. In the final analysis, it was just a, an issue of an opportunity to do something that I've always wanted to do. Um, I don't even know that I'd get an interview at this point in time. Uh, I don't even know that I'm in contention for anything at this point in time. So that, that's part of why I think this is a bit premature. But uh, I love the city of West Palm Beach. Uh, the folks here have been nothing but good to me. Uh, I will continue to do my very best uh, for every day that I serve as the police chief. And uh, I, can, I, I, I can't tell you enough about the officers here. They're phenomenal police officers. They're very passionate about this community. And uh, I don't want anything to upset them in any way, shape, or form either. And I haven't gotten a chance to speak with them about this, and I wanted to do that before we, we, we aired all of this. But uh, if this is what we have to do, this is what we have to do. But this is nothing more than just a, an opportunity to fulfill a lifelong dream and if it comes to fruition, great. And if it doesn't, that's great too. When you say this would be a dream opportunity mm -hmm. to work as the police chief in Cincinnati, what would that job provide that you don't think you'll have here? It, it's just basically um, having grown up in an organization. If you can imagine starting off as the kind of the uh, male person and ending up the CEO, it's, it's the goal and a dream, I think, of every American uh, every person that has put their blood, sweat, and tears into an organization to uh, have the opportunity to lead it. What do you say to the people of West Palm Beach who maybe feel that you haven't been here very long, a year maybe? What do you say to the people of West Palm Beach? I say that uh, I'm, I'm very committed to the people of West Palm Beach. Uh, the folks that I've met, I think, know that. Uh, we will continue to do the absolute best job that we can uh, from, for however long that is. Uh, we are very committed to working hard and making this a clean, safe, fun city. And in a final analysis, it's really not so much the police chief as it is the police department. And this is a phenomenal, phenomenal police department. There are excellent, excellent people here. Uh, I would not have done this or taken this step if in any way, shape, or form it would have been detrimental to our community. Uh, I can assure you that if I go away tomorrow, there, there are plenty of people that can step right up and do just as good, if not a better job, than I can. Um, I'm, I feel very honored and privileged to have gotten the opportunity to work with such quality, talented people as we have here. And the people of West Palm Beach need to know how good they are. Because I've seen a lot of police departments, and I'm telling you, there's not none very much better than this one. What would you say to people who would say, you're not really being fair to the mayor and the city leaders who decided to bring you here less than a year ago, and now you're preparing to pack up possibly and leave. What would you say to people who are saying this is not being fair to the citizens? I, I, I would tell you that that's very premature. Uh, there's a long process. There's a lot of people involved. I, I don't even know that I'd get a shot to be interviewed at this point. So um, you know, no job is forever. Everybody's replaceable. And uh, I, I think everybody realized that when I was hired. And, I'm going to try to do the very best I can do every day that I'm here. And if that's another 10 years, that's great. If it's another two months, that's great too. Do you, do you have a contract with a window and that's why you're able to take this opportunity? I have or? no contract. I am purely an at-will employee. What is your current salary and what is the salary that you might receive in Cincinnati? I have no idea what the salary is uh, in Cincinnati. I believe it's, uh, it's comparable right around 140,000 a year which is what we're making here. You're making right at 140 mm -hmm. right now. Okay. Is it a larger department? Much larger department. Um, it's about uh, three times the size of West Palm Beach. Okay. Did you come here thinking that uh, if an opportunity comes up in Cincinnati I'm going to go back there? I never I never thought even in my wildest dreams that an opportunity in Cincinnati would ever come back. Um, it, it it was it was it was just unthinkable. So I had no way of, of ever, you know, uh, being prepared or aware of anything like that. So, I mean, did you did somebody call you from Cincinnati and say, "Hey, we got an opening. You want to sign up?" Or were you calling them? Or no, 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 no. The the International Association of Chiefs of Police sends out uh, job applications and job notices, 
um, to all police chiefs, and, and it, that's how I actually found out about the West Palm Beach job, uh, you know, and applied and saw what happened. I mean, you take your chances. It's not a guarantee that I'm going anywhere. You said that your officers didn't yet know about this. Did you confer with the mayor or the mayor's office before you made the decision to take this step? Yes, I, I did. I spoke with her and I spoke with our city administrator. And who else was kind of in the loop with this? I mean, you don't, you're not required to tell anyone, but who is this new to a lot of people today? I, I don't think it's new to a lot of folks, no. I mean, I think people know that where it came from. And uh, my dad's 85 years old. He's in a nursing home up there. Uh, this would present an opportunity to get back close to him. Uh, you know, I've been spending a lot of time in airports, flying back and forth to visit him, you know, for two or three days at a time. He's, uh, he's very ill. And for me, it's an opportunity to get back with him. And my kids all live there. And uh, as much as I complain about them and, uh, you know, was always arguing with them about different things that you do, uh, when you get, get away from them for a while, you really miss them. And I miss them. How emotional, how difficult was this decision to take this step? Uh, just to take the step, and, and that, that's not even, you know, as I mentioned to you, it's no guarantee of anything. But uh, I love the city. Uh, the mayor, the, the administrator, the commissioners have all been super with me. Uh, it's an excellent, excellent police department. Uh, they're phenomenal staff. They've been very, very supportive. And I, I didn't want to do anything that would jeopardize that. And so I was very conflicted about whether or not to even apply. I can't emphasize enough, it's just an application. It, it's no guarantee of employment, no offer of employment. I don't even know I'll get an interview. Um, it was just something that I grew up in. It's, I spent almost 40 years there. And if you can imagine starting at the very bottom and working your way toward the top, this would have been kind of the icing on the cake. And I felt if I didn't take this opportunity, I might not ever get to take it again. And that's why I did what I did. How many officers right, we're, we're here? One more. How many officers, officers last work last here with you down? Uh, we have about 276 officers here. And up there, how many are roughly? Uh, they're roughly around 1,000. 1,000, mm -hmm. okay. Right, Can you thanks. just say when you applied? I don't think you even said that. Uh, to be honest with you, I, I finished that process today. So I, that's why I'm kind of surprised that, uh, as I told Elliot, I, I didn't think this was news, but uh, it's just an application. It doesn't mean that I, you know, I'll get the job. It doesn't mean I, I take the job. It's just, it's just an application. It's, just an opportunity to do something I've always wanted to do.